Hey everybody, welcome back to another, and here is the haul for the week. Uh, starting out strong with Gotham City Sirens number two. That's the Terry Dodson cover. And I got the cardstock variant. Sorry, I think this is, I'm not sure who did the cover of this one. I should have done some prep work. Anyway, that's the Harley Quinn variant cover. Very cool. Spider Boy verse uh, number ten versus the Spider Verse this week. Fantastic Four number twenty three with the Alex Ross cover. It's kind of a, a Fantastic Voyage story this week. Uh, the Return of Mark Spector continues in Vengeance of Moon Knight number eight. And what I think might be the last She Hulk in this particular volume is She Hulk number ten. And the variant cover uh, of number 10 as well. I've enjoyed this series quite a bit too. And as we continue on, uh, Amazing Spider-Man 55. It's a great issue with basically uh, Peter trying to go on a date and dealing with his regular life when superheroing just is always getting in the way. And I always kind of like those character books about this. And then they continue with the Disney variant versions with an X-Men with Donald the Cyclops and... Uh, Daisy as Phoenix. Little nibs in there. It's good stuff. And the new Spider Society series, they enter the Spider Versus. This is number one. Whole lot of spider people in this uh, series, as you'd expect. And this is the uh, Spider Gwen Ghost Spider variant cover. Checking out a new Boom series from Stephanie Phillips called Red Before Black. Too early to call in this one. It's uh, seemingly a crime story with a little something more going on behind it. And uh, the second of the new EC titles uh, published through uh, uh -oh, uh, Oni Press. This is the, the science copy, uh, Cruel Universe. And again, short stories written and drawn homage to the old EC. Lots of fun. I highly recommend it if you like the old pre-code horror. And then uh, one of my favorite series uh, in production right now is uh, Geiger. So there's number five. And a variant cover. It's got the glow in the dark look to it. This is a fantastic read. So, so far the Ghost uh, Machine imprint has been ex spectacular. And speaking of spectacular, um, anything Ed Brubaker and Sean Phillips do. This is the new hardcover graphic novel, Houses of the Unholy, um, dealing with uh, the epidemic of, or maybe obsession with satanic ritualistic killing and. Or fantasies about such things uh, in the 80s and getting into the early 90s so uh, really if you for those of us who lived through this uh, it's a it's a great callback to that era that's a killer story I've read about half of this so I can't wait to finish it and then something that's new to me but not new this came out in 2020 uh, I'm sorry 2010 uh, this is Sarah uh, Levitt's Tangles which is a story about Alzheimer's uh, her mother has Alzheimer's and it's an autobiographical tale um, so looking forward to starting this one haven't read it yet but uh, it's pretty substantial, very kind of simple artwork, but um, I'm sure it's going to be a bittersweet story. So there you go. I'm going to have all kinds of feels this week. All right. Well, that's my roundup for this weekend. Hope you enjoy yours. And until next time, keep your mind in the gutter.